Hello, welcome, dear spiritual friends. Thank you for being with me. My name is Cindy St. Martina, and I'm a certified angel therapist, holistic healer, and Reiki master for the mind, body, spirit, and soul. And you're watching my weekly angel choir reading for the week of July 31st, 2016. So thank you all for being with me. You are a blessing to me and one that I am so forever, ever grateful. So, and in return, you are also likewise blessed. It's the end of July. Oh, the summer's going by so quickly. And I hope July blessed you in many, many ways and that you were open to receive those blessings with an open heart and an open mind. And of course, August will be just as wonderful, if not more wonderful. And I hope you are enjoying your summer as well. I had already called upon God, the Ascendant Masters, the angels and archangels to be with me. And because of law of attraction and power of intention, I cannot select the wrong card. And then I am inside today. We had a lot of rain this morning and it had just stopped. And it looks like the sun is going to try and come out. Everything's wet, so I came inside to do my reading for this week. I am going to begin with the angel tarot cards. And we'll see what our first card for the week is. Okay, as I was shuffling, look, see what card flipped over? <laughs> it's the Unity card. And it says, traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. You know, sometimes the traditional viewpoints and methods work the best. You know, um, there's nothing like the root of something, getting to the root of something to make things grow. And uh, in connecting with spiritual organizations or spiritual people that are going to get you back to those traditional uh, methods or traditions, that's where the spirituality was based on. So if you're up in a tizzy this week, don't know what to do, you tried everything, you tried everything, and um, connect with someone who's spiritual, who's going to take you back to the roots, take you back to the basics of your spirituality and these are the mentors and like-minded people you want to be around you don't want to be around people who are just full with ego and just crazy running around so unity bring it together start from the basis start from what's real okay go back to that and connect with someone and, um, and hopefully you will be amazing maybe you, you want to connect with me and that would be great I got a lot of free time next week so maybe you want to do that and I can help bring that to you and then and inspire you and, and enlighten you and empower you. So it's a good card, Unity, the number five. The number five on the card here, can you see it? It means changes. Number five means changes. So the next set of cards, we're going to connect with our love angels. And so I'm going to the Whisper of Love cards, and we'll see what card they will select for the week. Okay, let's cut the deck. The card says, actions speak loudly. And it reads, express your love through your actions. We all know the old saying, actions speak louder than words. And it's so true because we can always say anything, <laughs> but what we put behind it is what's important, you know. And sometimes it's good to be silent <laughs> and let your actions speak for you. Uh, people will always notice what you do, and also notice what you say. <laughs> But what you do, what you put behind it, is a more powerful statement than what we say. So actions speak loudly. Express your love through your actions. 
okay show your love and it's not always materialistic you know you show your love very simply and easily just giving your time and letting people know that you care give them a phone call you know uh, pray for them visit them uh, bake them a cake <laughs> cook them dinner whatever anything that that's that's simple and not a lot just giving some of your time so your actions speak loudly okay good card and, you know, that will come also with the, with the first card, the unity card. You know, traditional viewpoints. That's traditional. Actions speak louder than words. So, and that's spiritual enlightenment. The third card are the law of attraction cards. And we'll see what our affirmation for the week is. You know, and some people might still take your actions the wrong way uh, with an ego intent. But when you base your actions, even your words, through your heart, through love, it's never, ever wrong. Because that's the karma you're creating. It, God doesn't base it on how other people react. God based your actions and your words from where they come from inside of you. How someone receives them is their karma. And you don't want to be connected to their karma. Just do things from love, and that's your reward, your karma, your law of attraction in, in that way. Don't judge who you are by other people's reactions to you. Okay? Okay, let's cut the deck. Instincts. And the the law of attraction or the um, the law of attraction cards with our power of intention they they want us to affirm I act on my instincts and notice the signs and symbols in my life. Our instincts are God speaking to us or angels speaking to us. It's that gut feeling, you know. And they send us symbols. They send us messages. To, to guide us in, and to steer us in the right direction. Uh, you know, if you're looking to take a, a course or a class, and you don't know which class to come, uh, take, put it out there, and then you're going to, this information is going to come to you. Um, you know, if you don't know what to do about uh, a love relationship, trust your instinct. You know, if there are red flags there, pay attention to those red flags because those are signs. You know, and symbols. So really pay attention to the to the things that you're seeing. If someone brings you joy, now if you're making excuses <laughs> for something in your life, again, uh, pay attention to that. <laughs> Always, okay? So really pay attention to your instincts. And now the last of the cards are the Archangel Michael prayer cards. And we'll see what our prayer is for the week. Okay, let's cut the deck. It says, let go of fear now. Great card and great prayer. Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic, or ego-based thoughts and feelings. So it's really good, um, you know, fear is ego. And since God is egoless, um, fear, does, uh, fear doesn't exist. <laughs> and of course, ego stands for edging God out. And um, so we live on fear, then we're edging God out. It's ego, okay? Because God is everything that's love, and we want to trust and be fearless, trust in our path, know that we are being divinely guided to take a leap of faith, to make changes in our life. These are signs that goes back to the, to the instincts. I act on my instincts and follow, um, and notice the signs and symbols in, in my life. So the, you're being 
guide it to do things. So trust in that. Be fearless in that way. And of course, we have a choice between fear and love. In fear, there is no love. And in love, there is no fear. So of course, I choose to be fearless. So God bless you. I think that's wonderful. I invite you to visit my website at cindyshealing.com. There you see all the services that I provide. Maybe you'd like to have a session with me. I sure hope so. I would love to meet you. It's very affordable for an hour session. You pick the price that's in your budget, and we will connect uh, for an hour. Or if you just want a card reading, we can do just that. And, of course, we can get together either on the phone, video chat, or uh, in person if you live close by. But I would certainly love to connect with you in that way. Uh, also, while you're on my website, my social media sites are there. <laughs> so uh, if you haven't hooked up with me then, please do so. Again, I would love to befriend you in, in that way. And then, of course, every second and fourth Wednesday of the month, I'm check my calendar here. Cause I, uh, the next live chat will be on August 10th. And I hope you can join me for that for the second and fourth Wednesdays of the month. Uh, I host a live web chat. You can get a free reading. You can connect with other like-minded, wonderful people. It's a, a great time, and I hope you can join me for that. We, we gather from so many places in the United States and even other countries that join us. So I hope you can tell a friend and come on over and... Uh, and you don't need a webcam, you don't need anything, you just go to my website at cindyshealing.com and click on the live chat link, 8 o'clock on the East Coast. Okay, so I hope to see you then. So again, thank you all for being with me. You are a blessing. Know that you are powerful when you're the knowing, when you have God, the ascendant masters, the angels and archangels behind you. You're powerful. There's no stopping you. So God bless you all. I send you lots of love and kisses. If I was with you, I'd give you a big hug. <laughs> And, of course, I wish you all namaste. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next week.